Uh, yeah, so sort of echoing um, Sam's point, we realized at some point during this cancellation of the performance RFP that we were trying to fly before we could even walk, and we really needed to take a step back and understand, you know, what is it that we even have to like measure, um, and how can we get it, and what is it? Um, so um, the screenshot on the right, or yeah, is uh, a true picture that I got uh, when I started, and I asked, what databases do we have, and what systems do we have? And I got this, and I don't actually know what the blue things mean. I never found out. Um, some of these aren't real, they never were, um, as I found out later. So this was really all I had to go on. Um, it was a lot of fun. And um, you know, we really wanted to take all of these databases and uh, put them into one place and really just like have ease of access. Um, some horror stories where you know, when you get started at the city, you would have maybe a couple days before you got you know, a working access to things. Uh, and then maybe another couple weeks before you got your first access to a correct data set, you would ask these questions, you would get sent around a chain of people like, oh, hey, you gotta talk to that guy and that guy, oh, and that department, and then that guy. And then in the end you find out there's actually no data, they just thought there was. So, um, you know, it was a really very, I would say, painful for a lot of our analysts who really wanted to do good work and just really provide some analysis and insight into our life. And we couldn't really provide them any sort of data or inventory that made sense. So. We set out to acquire a warehouse um, and a platform that allowed us to also automate things. This was huge. This was the criteria. Um, there were a few things going into the criteria that for the data warehouse that we wanted. One was that it, it really couldn't just be a data warehouse. It also had to be a place that we could A, use to run pipelines to load things into the data warehouse. Um, some solutions we got as a response were very separated and actually one of them didn't talk to each other They were like, well, you have this platform that you can run pipelines on but then you can't actually talk to the data warehouse and we're like, Okay, that doesn't make sense um, And you know a lot of other criteria is where we have a, a variety of stakeholders in the city Some are very non-technical. They don't want to be they shouldn't be um, They just want to look at a report uh, or like a graph or maybe you know just even a, like a, a picture or something um, and some people really just want to get in there, roll up their sleeves, and develop a crazy amount of code that will produce amazing insight. And we just, you know, we couldn't support everybody with any single platform we had. And we had all these ad hoc things running in different languages and different scripting methodologies, and it was just like a lot of different stuff. So we really like, okay, we need a, a thing that helps, that is intuitive and easy to use for people who are not very technical. We need a thing that also helps analysts who are somewhat technical but maybe don't want to del dive deeply into some coding practices. Just run SQL. Uh, we want to help our analysts run notebooks. We want to have. We started growing our data science wing, and you know we really want to have some sort of data science tools. Um, one of the responses was like, "Well, you drag this box, and it just does data science for you." Cool. Um, that was a real response. It was really, really scary. Um, so, you know, we decided that like that the choice had to serve all the needs, and that was a big thing. So we had a lot of people in this process who were advising on what really worked for them, and you know we did come up with a solution that. I think really fits our needs, uh, which ended up being Civis. Um, but it, another big thing going into the choice was we really wanted to focus on like open tools that weren't proprietary um, and really could, we could hire for, which meant like we were looking for something like Python or R to be backing um, the code. Um, one of the reasons is, is a lot of, you know, it's really hard to hire good talent, um, especially in the tech world, especially in the government. You can't really afford the good stuff. So, you know, you had to be a, it had to be a skill that people have not just like oh you have to start and like know this like really obscure system in their code and their stuff you have to like it, you know we wanted something really easy to share and we also wanted something we could upload to github and maybe eventually share with the world and you know that was a big consideration um so citizen so ended up being kind of matching very basically every checkbox that we wanted um and you know in the end it was great and